Dave. Um, it's a funny afternoon. Like, you must be frustrated, but also proud as well. Yeah, um, proud in the fact that the lads, for me, have given the same performance that they've given the last two games against South Shields and FC United. But I think we've just come up against better players today who um, punished us in the, the 1v1s that we sometimes left, um, good finishes. Frustrating part is you get back into the game at 2-0 and the emotion around the ground changes and you think we're onto something. And then back into the game at 3-2 and the biggest frustration for me today, and I never ever do this, but I can't believe the referee's comments afterwards by saying that there was contact on both penalties, but not enough contact now. Sinead who's running at full speed and if there's contact, it's a penalty, it's as straight as that. What to Stonewall for me, from here, I could tell on the Pratt one because there was players round him, but certainly Sinead was I thought was Stonewall. The moments in there, huge, huge moments in the game um, and it might have been the difference, don't get me wrong, I think overall they, they deserve the win, um, but you need that little bit of luck being the team that's coming from the lower leagues and the delighted part for me is that we played exactly the same way as we have in the last two games, but we have just come up against better players and, and they've hurt us at the other end with that. Great character show because as I say at 3-1 it looked like it wasn't going to happen, you could have you know, just kind of seen it out and gone well we gave it our best, but great character and, and you threw the kitchen sink in and say no disgrace in that last goal just caught on the break, weren't you? Yeah, the last goal is nothing, I mean we threw everyone forward, it's the last kick of the game. Um, yeah, at half time there's a worry at 3 1. You could, it could be 4, could go 5, but the lads dug in there and we, we couldn't really create much. We were up against some good players, but you knew that one, one goal would change the momentum of the game, and all of a sudden, them second balls and them, them fine lines started going our way. Um, and yeah, the, it's, for me, it's a penalty, and that gives you an opportunity to bring the game back to, to 3 3. I'd say both were. I'd say, bo I'd say both. And, uh, this is what I mean, if referee says there's contact, what's, how much contact does it need to be to be a penalty, especially when someone's running at full speed? Now, if the referee had just said, I thought they dived or I didn't think there was contact, I'd walk away and say, right, he hasn't given it. But to say there's contact, it, yeah. it's a penalty. Um, but yeah, I think overall, they, they did deserve the win. We would have been on the, the lucky side if we had got the 3-3. The three, three. Um, but... I'm convinced we're on the right lines with what I've seen in the last three games and I think we've played exactly the same today as we have against FC United and we have South Shields, we've just come up against better players. Yeah and, that, and that's a big thing, it's like you've not got a win out of any of them but the way the players have performed stands you in good stead going forward, I mean we've probably played the potential champions for the National League North today haven't we? Yeah well I think I stood up here probably a similar time last year, we'd won five of our first seven games but I knew deep down we couldn't keep that going. I'm studying now and we haven't won as many games as we'd like but I'm convinced that there's not going to be them slumps in form that we had last season. We've got strong characters in the dressing room there um, who were going after teams and I think today we knew it was going to be potentially a high scoring game because we were going to leave ourselves 1v1 at times at the, the back and um, we went, the, we went the right way with that because if we'd have just sat in I think they had too much quality and they could have picked us off. So. We would said, right, we're going to try and create chances. You might have your chances. You can see the difference between the finishing. We've yeah. missed a couple in the first yeah. half, which um, I'd expect us to take. And they've put a couple away, which I'd expect us to do slightly better with the 1v1s. But that's where our defenders have got to get to in terms of the level we're expecting. Um, every time the wide men or the centre forward got us in a 1v1, they really look threatening. And um, I said the last half time, we're not changing that. You've got to sort of raise your games and try and match you, uh, good players and good team. Yeah, I suppose the other frustration was getting back to 2-1 and an unfortunate mistake by Joe in it and it's 3-1. If you'd have gone in 2-1 at half time, you'd probably really back yourself to maybe get something, wouldn't you? Well, that's why we had to lift the lads in the changing room because I didn't believe, I didn't think they believed they could get themselves back in. Um, shoulders were slumped, quiet dressing room and the emotion of the game changed when it was made 3-1. It was like, that's a little bit out of our reach now. So we had to get into the lads a little bit regarding that because you've seen one goal just changes the complex of the game completely um, so we did that we, we hung in there and then got the goal what was it 10-15 minutes left so it made it into a proper cup tie but unfortunately we just couldn't get that third goal and got picked off at, at the end with like I said a, a counter-attack goal that I'm not really counting because we just we're all up the pitch <laughs> so it's 3-2 yeah 3-2 what a strike by Tom Morris by the way we know he's got that in his locker haven't we yeah in training he's frightening with it yeah um, we wanted to shoot anywhere for 25 30 yards and with the ground it skipped up the keeper had no chance with it he's got he has got that in his locker and i thought he was outstanding today and um, thought he did really well and 
I'm looking across the, the team again. I don't think there was any like average or poor performances from us. It was generally good. I think I uh, looked at Paddy and Sinead doing that's something we may need to look at. They're putting an awful lot into the games in, in them wide positions, so we might need to look at rotating that at times. Um, but Paddy looked threatening at times. Sinead, who second half got us into some good areas. But I thought first 20 30, there were two players I was thinking just get on the front foot a little bit more because the midfield was, was excellent again in terms of stopping the opposition playing the triangles that they like to do. Um, then we made it into a, a battle, um, but we just got picked off a little bit on the counter attack today. Yeah, two players, you mentioned one player, but two players for me have been outstanding so far. One, one is Tom Morris and one is Kyle Browning as well, it was fantastic today, wasn't it? Yeah, the way we're asking Kyle to play, that's how he wants to play. Sometimes we've got a kind of real Kyle in a little bit because he goes forward and wants to get tight with players. So we're, we're asking him to do that now, be on the front foot. So uh, there was instances today where Kyle and Brad did everything that we were asking them to do, but they were just up against that slightly better player and they, they got turned or um, they got in behind. I think there was the second goal where Brad's gone tight. I wanted him to go tight and it was just a little ricochet and the, the lad's gone away from him and played Willoughby in. Um, so yeah, get, just right across the pitch. Again, proud of the performances. Um, the lads have give everything and they've asked, uh, asked what was asked of them, for, had done what was asked of them from the coaching staff, and we'll keep moving forward with it. I do believe that performance today would beat most teams in this league. Um, you said that that's important. exactly what we were saying up there. And it's, every time it's just a, an improvement on the last game, isn't it? Yeah, but you just, today you just got to take into account that is a team probably not the league above. It's probably two two leagues above. And we've given them a scare, we've given them a good game. Um, I do think they were the better team overall, if I'm honest. But just them moments in games, I'll go, go to bed tonight thinking about them penalties because that was just the, the look Storm Hallers for me, and that's the annoying part. Um, listen, they might have scored after that, or there might have been another goal in it, we'll never know. Um, but there's no point feeling sorry, off, sorry for ourselves. We've got a free week now. Um, I've been asked are the lads going to rest up. No, we're going to work harder than ever on, on Tuesday. Hopefully, but get. Met well one, though. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know yet. Uh, and then Thursday, I need a practice game to get some minutes into the players. Because if you look at our bench today, there's not a lot of minutes in terms of um, what has gone into the lads' legs. So Theo, say do. Uh, John will play. Um, Jack Sherratt will get some minutes and then we've got a few trialists as well so we'll get an 11 out and there's a team coming down on Thursday to play us on that. I mean, in Louis Myers came on for his full debut today, he's a nuisance, I suppose that's what he'll want because it, caused, it, it changed the game a little bit, it caused him problems, all of a sudden he had to sit back a little bit which opened up space, didn't it? Yeah, different options, so Pratty's a brilliant option isn't he, down the side and um, at times we're going to need something a little bit different and I thought Louis came on first couple of touches a bit wayward but then he was he was a handful allowed us to get onto the second balls and start playing a little bit and it's good to have them options now um, last year we had Dan Turner or Pratty and very very similar players yeah. and there is some games of football where one might suit Pratty a little bit more um, others might suit Louis a little bit more so we'll, we'll take a look at that and at times we might play two up there I'll look at the opposition formation and I'll work it out from there and also, uh, as I say, I suppose that's where you want to get to playing teams like this, don't you, in the sort of National League North sides, which obviously means you get promoted, but that's the foundations you're looking to set in place now, isn't it? Yeah, it's a brilliant test. We do a lot of work with our defenders in terms of the 1v1 situations that they're created. Um, and we couldn't stop that today and that's where we've got to work harder and harder because if the lads want to go on in the game that's the level that they've kind of got to get to because you're up against here a team who is the full time um, on budgets they'll, they'll be way above us that's obvious and a, a better standard of player so what you think you might be doing against teams in this league you think yeah I'm doing okay no one's getting past me how much do you want to go on to that next level because what you've seen today especially was a Tollett on the right wing um, he was brilliant in the 1v1s and then Willoughby when he's got our centre halves in the box we've got to stop that shot just getting that little bit tighter and if you don't that's that's what kind of happens against players of this level but yeah again the three performances the last three performances with a little bit more luck we could have had two wins and a, a penalty shootout in there um, but it's fine lines isn't it because we haven't picked up a win in, in, in any three, but I've been delighted with the performances and I know that we're on the right track with uh, what we're doing. Real Dave, well, we'll see you uh, next week against Stafford and hopefully get off the mark wind-wise. Yep, cheers, fellas. Cheers,